Oh good god, here she is with more Gideon the Ninth content. Yes I am, because I am not done with this series and I have to wait far too long for the next book to be released. So here we are again diving into the Locked Tomb universe to talk about two Gideon the Ninth stories you may not know exist. This probably goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. This video contains spoilers for the three books in the series. It doesn't contain spoilers for the two stories I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about them, but I'm not going to spoil them. So if you've not read Past Gideon the Ninth, do not watch this video if you want to, because I'm going to be spoiling it. Starting with The Mysterious Study of Dr. Sex. The Mysterious Study of Dr. Sex is classified on Goodreads at least as Book 0.5 and the Locked Tomb series. Taking place before the events of Gideon the Ninth, it tells the story of the Sixth House characters Palamedes Sextus and Camilla Hex. It was published one year after Gideon the Ninth, so you can bet Tamsin had an itch to tell these beloved characters' stories. When the study of a long-dead library tutor, the brilliantly named Dr. Donald Sex, is finally reopened 460 years after his death, Camilla and Palamedes are among the lucky few to examine the dusty, intriguing old office. What they find within reveals an unexpected locked room mystery, and while their elders trawl through academic bureaucracy, the two youngsters unravel the puzzle themselves. The Mysterious Study of Dr. Sex is a brilliant story, not only because it gives us some insight into the sixth house, which on its own is amazing, but it also gives us a lot of insight into Camilla and Palamedes' relationship when they were younger. The writing is unmistakably Tamsin, with funny quips, although they're a lot more subtle to suit the sixth house, amazing world building, and a lot of character development too. It's honestly the sweetest story, and if you love these characters like I do, then you need to give it a read. So if you're interested in giving The Mysterious Study of Dr. Sex a read, I've left a link in the description of this video to the Tor.com website where you can read it for free. The second is As Yet Unsent, marked as book 2.5 in the Locked Tomb series. In other words, a story set after the events of the second book, Harry the Ninth, but before the events of the third book, Known of the Ninth. This one was released in typical Tamsin fashion one year after Harry the Ninth. So what do we think? Do we think we're going to get a 3.5 before Electo the Ninth? I hope so. Anyway, As Yet Unset tells the story of Judith, Coronabeth, and Camilla's time in Blood of Eden, directly following the events of Gideon the Ninth. It was originally published in the trade paperback edition of Harry the Ninth, but you can now read it online. At the end of Gideon the Ninth, all shit hits the fan. All these three characters go missing and we don't really see them again until briefly in Harry the Ninth and then in detail in Nona the Ninth. As Yet Unsent is written from the perspective of second house necromancer Judith Juteros and takes the form of excerpts from a report she wrote while held in captivity by Blood of Eden. As she slowly recovers from her canon house injuries, she documents her observations of her time in captivity. Her notes include thoughts on her captors, what they seem to want from her, what this means for her continued existence, and the changing behaviour of Camilla and Coronabeth. I'd classify as yet unsent as required reading before you read Nona the Ninth, and I'm honestly kind of irritated I didn't do that. Which is weird because I have the paperback version of Harry the Ninth and I just didn't read the story because I didn't know it was there because it's behind the glossary. If you were confused at the start of Nona the Ninth, then this story should clear a few things up. It outlines these three characters' motivations, thoughts, and movements in more detail than was given to us in Nona. In a way, it allows us to understand them and their situation better. It's more like a diary than a report and contains more emotion and thoughts than would normally be in a report, which of course I like. Even though the accounts are written by the most serious character in the whole of the Locked Tomb series, Judith, there's still some humour there. Intentional humour by Tamsin, unintentional humour by Judith. Much like the previous short story, this one allows us to see inside the mind of a character that we didn't really see that much from in Gideon the Ninth inside the mind of the character in the most beautiful way possible. If you're interested in giving As Yet and Sent a read, then again, I will put a link to it in the description below because it's on the tall.com website. You can read it for free. 
I'm honestly quite sad I didn't read these stories in between reading the main books. I only read them recently. Not only are they brilliantly written, almost a little bit like fan service, but they also contain a lot of clues and extra information that would have helped while reading the main books. I can only hope Tamsin releases another short story before she releases Electo. But what did you think? Did you enjoy these short stories? If you've read them, please put all your theories, thoughts, and excitement in the comments. And if you like this video from the Lot Tomb series, you'll probably like this one too. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.